Protests of sorts tonight from the Gates Police Department pertaining to mental health arrests in local hospitals. The department says it will no longer take people it detains to Strong Memorial Hospital for treatment. It will use Rochester Regional instead. Kayla Green joining us now live from the Great Gates Police Department. Kayla, what led up to this change? Maureen, the Gates police chief says he and his officers have run into issues over the years with Strong not letting them know when they're releasing a patient related to a mental health arrest. He says until Strong shows a more solid plan, Gates police will be working with Rochester Regional. Gates Police Chief James Van Brederode says communication from Strong about releasing mental health arrest patients has been a problem for years, but now he's saying enough is enough. It just became, well, that's the way business is un until recent events around our country. And now, you know, because of the ramifications of that, we're saying, you know what, it's no longer going to be acceptable. The chief outlined a specific situation from October 12th when they arrested a man who was intoxicated, brought him to Strong, and asked the hospital to let them know when he was being released. Chief Van Brederode says they plan to take him back into custody, arraign him, and get an order of protection. He says Strong didn't notify Gates Police. The man was released and ended up being arrested again hours later. We gotta get changes made at the hospital level. That once somebody's brought in there, what's the plan? and sending them back into the community so we don't have a repeat situation. He says while he's loved working with the U of R over the years, change needs to happen. You know, perhaps before we just release somebody, right, we could, we could reach out again to the police, we could reach out to the family who called the police to find out if there's any issues or concerns that they might have before they release their loved one. Without getting into any of the HIPAA stuff, I, I don't see where that would be a problem. URMC says leaders from the hospital and the Monroe County Office of Mental Health met with Chief Van Brederoad last week. They say they have to follow the state's mental hygiene law, which prevents facilities from keeping patients unless certain criteria are met. And in a joint statement from URMC and Rochester Regional, they say these are community challenges that require community solutions, and it is not accurate to suggest that taking patients to one hospital over another will result in better outcomes for the families we all serve. Live in Gates. Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. A Gates police tell us its department has made 311 successful mental health arrests this year.